So here it is, the second episode from my adventures with the Spitfire. And this time, my friend Guillaume and I are actually going to get to fly it. Just before I get to jump into the back seat, we are first joining Matt, who is our Spitfire pilot, on his pre-flight inspection, checking everything is ready before our departure, and asking any questions we might have had before flying this legendary vintage airplane. Now it's almost time for takeoff, so I put on my helmet and get briefed once more about how to work the parachute I'm wearing just in case I needed to use it and how to exit the airplane in case an emergency would arise. I can't hear a thing. Good. <laughs> How's that? Still comfortable? Yep, still yes. can't hear you. <laughs> It's good noise cancelling. Okay. okay. Yeah? It's time to fly this a bit far. Maria! Oh my god! How was it? <laughs> Check this out. Okay. So Matt did a good job, did he? Matt did a great job, yeah. Nice. And the landing was superb. <laughs> Matt, thank you. Pleasure. <laughs> wow. 80 year old aeroplane, would you believe it? Yeah. Get out and have a look. I always find when sort of, you go and do that stuff <sighs> and then you look at it when you get on the ground and think, can, we re can this aeroplane really have just done that? I have so much respect for it now than I had before. That was, that was without a doubt, the best 
best experience of my life. <laughs> wow. <laughs> my legs are shaky. <laughs> To lift. It's weird, isn't it? Because you so get pretty weird. used to how heavy your, your hands are in your life. No, and I was like, no, nope, no, nope, they're stuck. <laughs> well, I bet in the jet you've never rolled inverted at the end of it and then pulled through. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done that. I I to do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe on your command check. We'll see. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wow. Well done. Wow. Great. Thank you so much. <sighs> All right.